This is the easiest defense to run in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. I'm gonna upload videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. Also wanted to quickly just point out that if you have not joined my Patreon membership, but today we're talking about the nickel 335 wide. And the nickel 335 wide, I have a full ebook on it in our Patreon membership. So if you wanna join the Patreon, it's just $10 a month. You get unlimited access to every ebook that I release in the Madden 22 season. So far, we've released 11 ebooks already. And we've got more ebooks planned. We've got seven defenses, four offenses. 335 wide just happens to be one of those. And so if you want to learn the 335 wide or the 335 wide as well as the rest of the stuff that I have over at the Patreon, there's a link in the description below. You can sign up for that for just 10 bucks uh, a month. And again, you can cancel whenever you'd like. But as long as your subscription's active, you get access to every ebook, everything that I release over there um, that can help you become a better player. So today I want to talk about a simple coverage and a simple blitz and why the 335 wide is the meta and why it is the best and easiest defense that you can run in this game. So what you're going to do is our base plate is Mike Blitz 3. Okay, so our base plate is Mike Blitz 3. I'm going to go ahead and move the ball over here to the left side. And really what I want to show you is first and foremost, the three-man rush in Madden 22 is actually really, really good this year. Um, it's better than it, it's better. It, it have consistently patched it to the point now where I actually think it's really, really good. So uh, what we're going to do from a setup perspective is I like to come out and shave my coverage uh, underneath, shave my coverage over top, crash my lineup. That's a really, really important adjustment. Crash your lineup. I like to go ahead and QB contain, but you don't have to. And then you're going to put both of your linebackers on curl flat zone. So you see here that that's what we're going to run. Um, and then if you wanted to, you can put the left side guy on, you can play like cover two to the left, something like this, cover three cloud. Um, you can kind of manipulate the zones if you want, but by and large, it's real simple. You're gonna basically mabel the wide side of the field. If you wanna go with something like this to the left side, you certainly can so that you can get a yellow zone. Um, or, you know, you could just keep with the mabel concept. And then again, you're just gonna use her over the middle of the field. So you see, this is what the defense looks like. And at the snap of the ball, um, Pretty much a lot of the meta stuff that you're going to see is going to be very difficult to get open against this defense, especially with the latest patch that really significantly improved cover three. This is a great little defense that you can use to pretty much slow down a lot of what people are going to do. So again, the setup is really simple. Crash your lineup, and then you're going to shade your coverage down so that you can create those uh, cloud flats. And then you're going to put your linebackers in purples. Now, I talk about this in another video, but what I like to do is put the flats on 30, put the curl flats on 5 or 10, and put the yellows on 5 or 10. So what you could do, for example, is you could do something to this extent. You could play cloud flats, and then on that back side there, you could play like a vertical hook. Oftentimes, that vertical hook would be surprised, but let's say that we run um, like a tight end flat. This vertical hook zone will kind of play the flat, as you saw right there. It kind of plays the flat kind of plays underneath so very vertical hooks are really really good this year they're probably one of the better zones in terms of how they defend so you know you can use something like that now from a coverage perspective this is all well and good it's a great coverage defense but how do we get some pressure well why this is so good is that to simp all we have to do to get pressure is we're going to crash our lineup we're going to qb contain and then we're going to stand kind of right here and what you're going to see is we're going to get this super fast edge rush off of the left edge every single time. We're gonna get this really good contain. So again, very simple, crash line up, QB contain. You're gonna stand right here and just kind of kind of hover a little bit. And as you see, we get this really fast edge rush. Now, the reason that this is so good is because with the latest patch, Madden significantly patched uh, delay fades. They made delay fades not very good. They're gonna automatically release. And what you're gonna see is a lot of times if they delay fade, um, you're gonna be able to get really good pressure no matter what. So what people are doing now because delay fades are not very good is they're going back to since simply blocking their running back against pressure well with the contain rush like what we're running if they block the running back against pressure you're going to see that he's going to loop around the running back and he's still going to be able to come in uh, against this against the gun bunch offense so you see right here you know even though we're blocking six people and we're only sitting five that contain is running right around him every single time and in my opinion it's actually better now than it's ever been and so you can send this five-man blitz and this five-man blitz let's say i max protect but i put a delay fade out there 
oftentimes you're going to get an instant a gap or something against that delay fade the delay fade is not an effective way to block so now what you're going to force someone to do is if they want to pick this blitz up they have to block their tight end they're not able to put him on any type of route he's not a pass threat which is going back to what i was talking about with that initial coverage with that three-man coverage there being a vertical hook that makes a lot of sense because now there's really no way they can threaten the flat consistently with this with this uh, defense so you could do something like this and feel pretty good about it i mean you could have a a, a mabel concept you got your three-man rush but now they're going with a block tight end so now that vertical hook is super valuable because they don't have a flat route. There's nothing that's gonna threaten you to the flat because they have to block their tight end to pick up your pressure. And then if you, let's say that they, you know, let's say that you wanna do something like this where you create hard flats and they don't block their tight end, but they block the running back. Now you're able to poach in the middle of the field and the pressure is gonna be pretty significant and you're still gonna be able to stop the flat. So that is what makes 335 wide so good and why it's the best defense in the game. And we actually, um, have broken the entire defense down how you use it to stop the run how you use it to stop the pass how you use it to, to to run different coverages like cover two and match and man and all that stuff so if you want to learn my entire nickel 335 wide defensive ebook i'm going to put a link to my patreon down in the description below by clicking that and joining the patreon membership you're going to get instant access to every ebook that i've released so far in the man 22 season for just 10 bucks a month for 10 bucks a month you get access unlimited to everything and the other thing though is you can cancel whenever you want so you know it's a great deal for you i would really encourage you to sign up today again the links in the description below if you want to get the entire 335 wide defense there's a link down below to the patreon membership where you click that and you'll get instant access to everything for just 10 bucks a month and remember you can cancel whenever you want so super great deal and we will see you guys over at the patreon